I'm gonna go pull some queen cells. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back out here in the bee yard today. And we're gonna jump into the horizontal hive. And we had turned that into a cell builder a few weeks ago. We made them queenless. And today we're gonna jump in there and uh, pull the uh, grafting frame out and see if we have uh, a good take. We grafted on Monday and today is Saturday. We're gonna pull the queen cells that we have and transfer them right into these nukes today. Let's see how that goes. So this is our horizontal hive. If you follow the channel this year, you know that we, we started this off with some packages, three separate colonies. We made this one and this one queenless. And we put some queen cells in there, uh, grafting frames in there to Try to raise some queens. Here's the home nuke yard. Got six on this stand. There's four over here. So the home bee yard is getting smaller by the minute. We've moved a uh, vast majority of the colonies out of here and out to uh, out yards. Mainly splitting up the overwintered colonies into nukes moving them out to uh, various out yards and setting them up into 10 framers so we can expand. We've got a graft frame in this hive and this hive. And if you watch the other videos, you know that that third hive was pretty small, so we didn't mess with that one. Hopefully they've expanded and grown. So what I really wanna to do today is pull these grafted queens, put the cells in the cell protectors, and then walk them right over here and put them in these nuke boxes. But we'll see how that works. So this frame right here is the frame we grafted into. So I'm not really gonna mess with the bees. I just wanna get this out and pull those queen cells. So it looks like we had some good take. We'll give them a little brush and I'm sure that'll upset them. So that worked out pretty good. All right, let's see, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, not bad. Eleven cells. Can't really see it from that side, but there's eleven on here. So, this one frame will take care of all my nukes right here. What I'm going to do is carefully remove the cup, slide it into a, slide it into a cell protector, and I can put that one right into a nuke box. This is a great way to save a few bucks 
you can see the top of the cell here. You can see all the royal jelly in there. Last fall, I neglected some of the hives and didn't mite treat them. And several of them overwintered really well. So I decided to graft from some of those queens that overwintered and didn't give fall mite treatments. My thinking was those bees were pretty strong, pretty self-sufficient. Now this brush doesn't hurt the bees at all. It irritates them a little bit. But it just knocks them off. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I had 16 grafts and 11 took. I'll take that every day of the week. That's a pretty good success rate. So I'm gonna take one of these queen cells and push it right down into this frame. So this hive is queenless, and I'm gonna give them one of the queens they made. And we'll try to get this hive back to queen right. All right, so pretty excited about that, pretty happy about the, the take. We had 16 cells in there, and we have 11 queen cells right now. I've got 10 nukes that need a cell. I left one here, so I got 10 cells right now. I'm gonna go drop into these nuke boxes real quick. Let me get these ready and I'll be right back. So there's some queen cells that were already chewed out in this one. So I started looking a little closer and there's a queen right here. And she's actually laying right now. So mated queen. They must've had a queen cell in there when I made the nuke and I didn't see it. So this one will mark queen right with my brick here and move on. Just going through, checking for queen cells. So same thing here. There's some queen cells that are chewed out. You can see this one and this one, both are chewed out. And here's a queen right here. Uh, she's a virgin, very small. So we'll put them back. And mark this one queen right for now. See how they perform. Now they don't perform well. We can pinch them and put one of the new ones in, in the future. All right, so we have five cells left over and I put one in here. And then I put one in all the nukes that needed one. So I picked these up the other day. They're called uh, Easy Peasy. And they're designed to, I think, yeah, take that out. They're designed to hold a queen cell. And it fits in there really snug. So the queen can hatch out and not get killed. I've never used them. I saw someone advertising them on Facebook from a beekeeping club and thought I'd try them out. So I'm gonna take these ones that I didn't use and pop them into here. And I'm gonna come out tomorrow and make some more splits. And I'll use these in the splits right away. So what you can do with these that's kind of neat is put them right on the cell bar. If you got one of these Jay-Z BZ cell bars. Should let you keep the queens, keep the queen cell safe. Essentially banked. Kind of like people bank queens, you can bank cells this way. An incubator would be better. I don't have one at the moment. 
I think that'll work out pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna slide this right down in here. That should keep them for a day or so. So we pulled out 11 cells and we ended up putting in five in the nukes, one in the original colony that was our builder. So we used six, we had five left over. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, make some more splits and break down the rest of this home yard into splits and move a lot of these bees out to the out yards and uh, get ready for that big expansion this summer. Take care.